perhaps now we can, I can invite Professor Kotler to say a few words uh, and just a word of way of introduction. Professor Kotler is the former Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada. He's the founder and chair of the Rutwell Wallenberg Center of Human Rights, one of our co-sponsors, and a lawyer for political prisoners, including many of them in Iran. Professor Kotler, uh, honor to give you the floor. If you could unmute, unmute yourself, yeah. Very briefly, Hillel, just three quick points, which I'm just summarizing from the excellent testimony uh, by your panel. One, that Iranian women are not only the most important and courageous of human rights uh, movements in Iran, but the most targeted, suffering under ongoing gender apartheid. Number two, that close to three and a half years ago, Nasreen Sutada, the iconic woman human rights lawyer, who I would call the embodiment of the struggle for human rights in Iran, a looking glass into the state-sanctioned persecution and prosecution, was sentenced to 38 years in prison and 148 lashes, a virtual death sentence for a woman in her <clears throat> late 50s. And Iran was then elected to the UN Women's Rights Commission within two days of that outrageous conviction. And finally, and to the point that you made and others, the election of Iran, simply put, is an outrage. The refusal to condemn it is a betrayal of the women of Iran, a betrayal of the mandate of the UN Commission with respect to the promotion and protection of gender equality, and really a betrayal of the values that democracies are sworn to uphold and sustain. Thank you, Professor Kotler. Uh, 